Hello Internet, today we're going to be looking at maximizing the performance of our brakes by merely aligning the caliper, as well as ensuring the pistons are all working evenly. It might not sound very exciting, and the tools you need are pretty simple, but it can have a large impact on the feel of our brakes. The reason that caliper position can have such a large impact on lever feel is because what we want is a lot of free stroke until all the pistons are working in unison to drive the pad into the rotor in one moment as opposed to having the pistons working independently of one another and the pad crawling onto the rotor at different times in different locations. This means that instead of the lever throw being free stroke until there's lots of power, it's gradually going through a long stroke with varying amounts of contact at the pistons. This is the opposite of what we want. So alignment is key here, but there are other contributing factors as well. For instance, if your rotor is particularly bent or warped, as it passes through the pistons under heavy braking, it's not only having a force acted upon it, but it's also pushing the pistons back into their seats. Now, if you've ever driven a car with worn rotors, you might have felt this pedal feedback, and it's no different in our mountain biking brakes. You might not feel it at the lever, but you will feel the lack of bite because those pistons then have to return. What we want is them all working in unison in a very sharp and precise manner. So the way to do that is to first look at the caliper itself. We want this rotor to be centered within the caliper, irrespective of where the pad or the pistons are. So to do this, we might have to start by resetting the pistons. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You could, for instance, drop the wheel out and use a pad spacer, which is quite an easy way to do it. Or you can try and finesse the pads with a small screwdriver like I'm going to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is start by just aligning that rotor within the very center of the caliper. In fact, the join mark of this caliper serves as a great tool to aid this alignment. So that's the caliper lined up with the rotor sitting centrally. Now, if you're using a SRAM brake, you want to put the bite adjust all the way inward. So it's fully counterclockwise and the lever is pulling closest to the bar. This is just gonna give us some more wiggle room and require less effort at the pistons. If you've got a Shimano system or another brake system, it might not need this. It, they tend to be a little bit easier to do. Now we're gonna quite simply use a small flathead screwdriver. And if we want the non-drive side pistons to be housed further within the caliper, we're simply gonna slide the small flathead behind the drive side brake pad and use it to push the whole assembly just across slightly. As we do so, we pull on the lever we drive the pistons and we let go. As you push the overactive pistons back a little, it enables the underactive pistons to get a head start. And this is how you balance the caliper. Now you don't want to go too far with this, bringing the pistons out so far that they're always rubbing or giving you a really, really positive, strong feel that's immediately at the bite point because quite simply, it's not really going to last and you're going to get quite an inconsistent braking feel even through the course of a ride. Not only that, but then you can also add elements of rubbing from the rotor. If your rotor is really, really bent, like I said, it can have a detrimental effect on performance, but this can be a great way just to tweak the caliper to allow for a reasonably true rotor to run its course. If your rotor does have a slight tweak, by all means, try and bend it back, but be gentle. Much in the same way we're making small adjustments to these pistons, you wanna be making a small adjustment to the rotor. If you try and bend it too much, you're only gonna damage it in the long run. Once you're happy with the placement of the caliper, you can go and do these bolts up nice and tight. If you're unsure what that should be, please check the manufacturer's recommendation and use a torque wrench. If you find that as you're doing up these bolts, the caliper is moving or migrating to one side or the other, it can be worth making sure that you have a washer between the bolt head and the caliper. And if you've got any of those conical washers you find on some adapters, sometimes, the, I don't know if it's the tolerances are slightly out, but actually adding a spot of grease between them helps them slide on one another, it stops them binding and stops them dragging over the caliper at the last. But that's it really, that's lining up your caliper. It can have a huge effect on performance and it's worth getting right. Thank you.